cookery to metal, what? Metal cooking pot required. Oh, it just turns shit into metal. Okay, I like that. I, cookery to metal. I mean, I get. I had no idea my character was an alchemist, but. I guess it's more blacksmithing. I'm gonna go kill monsters now. Oh no, I was gonna. I was gonna get my gun repaired from Chet. This guy's brain is fuck. Oh man, I think cookery the metal is like a base game perk too. I I never saw the use for it, or not not perk recipe. I mean, if it is, it it, it is useful. Yeah, I, I never do any quests for the boomers. I just turn into scrap metal. Ah, uh, Chet doesn't repair stuff. I almost would kill you, Chet, but I haven't robbed you yet. The boomer quests aren't that bad. No, but I don't want to do them. Well, that's fair. You looking to buy some supplies? I normally do all of them, but it's for the XP. I guess, yeah, for me, XP is not really too hard. Like, once you get infamous or whatever, you start having those veteran gangs hunt you down from either the two big factions, and that's pretty much free levels there. That's true. I tried not to do that early on, because honestly, they fucked me up real bad early on. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't buy all my shit. But yeah, I got a pre-war hat, perception one. So, if I go to my stats now... See, that's some stats right there. Eight endurance, nine agility, eight intelligence, eight luck, seven strength. Two perception, because I'm wearing a hat, and one charisma, because fuck charisma, I can just max the skills. He's looking right at me. If I'm here, I'm hidden. Oh, he saw me. Ronan, er, not Ronan, uh, fucking Zack. I'm pretty <laughs> fucked. I can't, uh, I guess I can load a save, I'm pretty sure. But I done robbed Chet, it was a mistake. And the good spot is home. Problem. Little did I know that loading that save had regressed my character by a solid level and taken me back to before I had even done the Sunny Smiles quests. That meant that I had undone every bit of progress that I had made virtually in the entire game that was on screen so far. So I had to restart from here. That doesn't save when you open doors. Did you get the, uh... Did you loot the Chinese stealth manual? Yeah. Uh, is it in the school? That's pretty much the only place I haven't looted yet. No, no, it's in the, uh, it's Sunny Smiles home. Then, I, I probably have it. Yep. I do have it. Nice, nice. Skill book, as a skill books be important, gotta snag them whenever they can oh yeah i mean it stops being as big a deal later but early game i mean having that plus 10 to like barter it's huge plus 10 to guns it's huge if you're um <coughs> if you're in a position where you really need it you can take a couple of skill books and i don't i don't know how they stack but you could take some that are for different things like melee weapons if you're not into melee weapons if you're in close quarters things like that they're very versatile items. But before I sell all this junk to Chet, I'm actually gonna scrap things to scrap metal. But I didn't know you could do that. Oh my god, you're doing cookery the metal. Yep, my favorite new thing. <laughs> Make me some cookery. You or maybe some metal. You have <laughs> You have officially done something that I can say that I have never done in New Vegas. Well, it seems like, I mean, there's a lot of random pots around the wasteland, and I need scrap metal for the boomers. You need, like, 30 to you do what I do. Yeah, well, no, I know there's a lot of pots. I just never fucking picked them up, because they're, like, aren't they, like, like fucking 5 or 10 pounds or some shit, and they have no value? You're completely right. <laughs> well, like, there's literally, outside like, of that recipe, 
no reason to gather them. I mean, I don't even think there's shit in the in the uh, big empty for them. Like for other things like mugs or burned books, like there's a surprising recycle mechanic. But I don't think for pots that there is. <laughs> like I say, I I do not think there is. I, pots are one of the things that I see and I leave them there. <laughs> oh no, I want the wasteland wonder outfit. So I'm gonna be wearing. Lightweight leather armor is pretty good. Weighs 10 pounds, though. I really like lightweight leather armor. My issue is, is that once you get reinforced leather armor, you can't repair the reinforced, which weighs 5 pounds more, but it's just significantly better for D. Yeah, and the DR is all I care about. I want that damage reduction. So I care about the DT number. The, other th the next thing I care about is what is its rating? Like, for instance, this metal, lightweight metal armor sounds sick until you read it and it's like weight 20, medium class, agility minus one. So, yeah, it's only five pounds heavier than lightweight leather. That's a pretty good deal. It's half the weight of normal metal armor. But it still drains your agility just like metal armor does, does not increase your strength, which metal armor does, and as a medium armor class, it lowers your speed by 10%. And by lowering agility by one, it lowers your speed by an additional, like, 5%. So it's a noticeable speed drop. And that's why I don't like it. It's a shame. Because it's good armor. Power armor is the same way. Power armor is like a 25% speed loss. Might even be more. See, I just don't like power armor. I do in Fallout 3. Fallout 3 power armor is great. Yeah, but yeah, you, you, every time you get that test of power armor, it's, it's great. Oh, I was just a green. I was, I was a fan of the winterized T51B power armor in three. Oh, from the uh, Anchorage DLC, right? Um, I don't remember what it did off the top of my head. If I'm being honest, it never broke. It was bonus strength, bonus charisma, bonus strength and charisma and, is pretty solid, but charisma is still a dumb yeah. stat. I think radiation resistant. Also, have you ever bought these ammo boxes before? Yeah. That's just my jam. A hundred surplus rounds is what it is. It's my new favorite way to use guns. It's, it's pretty so cheap. It, it's, it's really cheap. It's really helpful early on. Uh, I don't use it almost ever because shit gets too expensive to up. Yeah, Another it does break strike. your guns. Alright, now, Wanderer, oh, I don't have the glasses thing, I usually have that. Alright, we're trying a different route this time. We're going 22, oh. Do I not have 22 ammo? I thought I bought, just bought it. Forgot to buy ammo for this gun. Back to the stole. Wait, no, I haven't robbed Trudy yet either. No lockpick. Right. <laughs> You're like, oh, how could I have forgotten to rob Trudy? Chance. Oh, there's a lot of shit here. Oh, yeah, right. I need the barment rifle. Forgot about that too. Don't forget it. That 357 Magnum that's broken as fuck out of that, uh, out of that chest. Not chest, out of the cup. I did not know that. I'll have to check it here in a second. I'm gonna break into this. Ooh, that was close. What was that? Letting was almost it? Leaving? Leaving is almost it? Beating? Whew. That's a hard terminal, man. It's like five letters. My character science is ass right now. Yeah, she has a, uh... Oh, no, this time she had a sledgehammer and a single shotgun. She must randomize. It's not always the same stuff. That's... So, yeah, where is this? There's a... You said there's a gun? Uh, it's a three fifty seven Magnum that is very, very broken. On the in a cup on the bar in Trudy's bar. Ooh, pick some things as well. Uh, 
Hey, are you smoke crack? I don't know. I'm hitting it. Oh, it's it's near the perfect radius. Oh, I see. That guy does not give a fuck that I just stole literally everything through the oak. <laughs> like, ever. I mean, that's a good thing, though. Yeah, I just... Wow, man. Yeah, no class. I don't even have to sneak. He's like, eh, not my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's her fault, I guess, for walking away. I don't know where she went. Must be the middle of the night. Must be in bed or something. Who, Trudy? Yeah. Uh, have you finished the Sunny Smile stuff? No. Trudy won't stop. Oh, so she, she doesn't exist. I see. Yeah, Tr Trudy won't actually spawn until Sunny says to go speak with Trudy. Gotcha. Well, that's perfect. I just cleaned house. Hey, sing. Hey, Easy Pete. Every time you walk near that man, he's like, hey! Like, nice to see you too, but, pal. But now that I stole all this random shit. By the way, that's, that's Honey. She ain't bad. I did my best with what I had to work with. The real question is, have you hit a thousand cats? <laughs> oh, I almost did, and then I bought a bunch of surplus ammo from this guy here, Chet. Where is Chet? Oh, he's right there. Oh, hey, Chet. Thanks for being over there. I'm totally not going to rob every... Oh, he sat down. Okay, Chet. Can you see me here? You can. What about right here? You cannot. I right, he... he started moving. You looking to buy some supplies? Ah, uh, he saw it. All right, show me what you have for pal. I got a bunch of stuff I just stole. Oh, the revolver Zach was talking about. Pool cue, broad machete, sledgehammer, single shotgun, absent but feared, and um, cat eyes. Psycho. Super sim pack. Get out of here. <coughs> uh, we might make a thousand, Zach. Oh. That's a pretty good haul. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Right, Sunny will now give you the free apartment rifle too. I mean, all in all, just from gear, I got nine agility now. Like, so once I get the implant, as long as I'm wearing one agility item. I will have 10 agility. And that's the biggest thing, because movement speed's huge. And all the guns perks and stuff. Now, here. I'm kind of going for for, for big guns. Take you know? This and try to hit a couple. That's the right idea. Okay, okay. Try crouching down so I got a pretty decent nice strength. Shot. Well, that's a start. Um, as well as a really good uh, agility, so I can wield that minigun and not have it spray all over. Because I've done this build before, if you do it right and you take the perk shoot, you know, you should have, then your bullets will actually curve towards your opponent. It's a really funny thing to watch, as, like, an enemy tries to move to, like, cover, and you don't even move your mouse, but your bullets are just, like, diagonal. Literal laser beam of bullets, minigun style. Another fun build doing the same thing is the Gatling laser does the same thing. Oh, 
Like, see, I, where Sunny's head is right now, I could shoot her with a minigun if I had guns 100, even though I'm way off, and the bullets would just be coming out of my gun diagonal. Sorry, but go ahead. My bad. Oof, 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 fuck. This car's... Hey, lady. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Yeah, I'll go kill those geckos for you. <coughs> There's only one way to murderize geckos. I'm gonna get the high ground this time. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. High ground is pretty br broken, at least in, in gun games. It's like they gotta run this whole little gauntlet to get to me now. Uh, I think he pathed over there. There he's coming back. Oh, bro, this is very hard. I can't. Uh, I can't push you this. Usually I dump cons, so that was really refreshing not to like take a ton of damage. You dump constitution normally? Yeah. But well, the implant. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I don't usually get implants. They're expensive. See? Oh. You're getting. I couldn't. I couldn't not get implants. They're too good. Well, I have the. Uh, I usually take that daylight one. So I end up with like straight tens. That's... Anyway. With That's like fair, charisma actually. dumped and con dumped. Because Khan and Charisma still become three when you're outside, which is when most combat happens. Man, dude, I... There's something about a missile launcher I just really, really love. Having... 400 damage... After you take, like, all the damage boosting perks... Like, damage threshold doesn't matter. <laughs> now that is true. Plus, there, there are enough perks you can take to where it's like, I negate a lot of explosive damage and stuff, so... You can use it in close quarters if you had to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just fucked me up. Now that was <laughs> you gotta use an S. <laughs> yeah. But it's still really good. <laughs> yeah, she told me to go bring her rock flower or some shit. Track down the source of no. Find Brock flower and Xander root. To the schools and the graveyard. Oh, that's where they are? Okay. Having learned the cruel, awful truth that the location of the Xander Root and the Brock Flower would be located at the heart of Good Springs itself, I decided, with Zach's advice, to journey into the schoolhouse. And we will pick up there tomorrow in the schoolhouse in New Vegas multiplayer. Hopefully Ronan will be back then. We'll see shortly.